Hello guys, Furball the Hammy, your friendly neighborhood hamster, is back again for another Hypixel Skyblock video. So most people believe that soloing floor 7 is very hard and being able to even get S plus under the limit of 20 minutes before you start losing points is even harder for floor 7. So today I've decided to try my hand at soloing a few floor 7s. However, before I begin with the video, be sure to smash the subscribe button down below because at 35,000 subscribers, I will be doing 650 floor 7s or if you guys want something different, be sure to comment something of similar difficulty and not something like getting diamond hits for all collections. And without further ado, let's begin with the video. So the beginning is essentially about clearing rooms as usual and a solo run doesn't make it much harder, it's just a regular dungeon, it's just very tedious being a solo player because you have to find 45 to 50 secrets all by yourself and do all puzzles, but this should take around 7 to 9 minutes. It took me several failed attempts to finally get a successful floor 7 run, so my dungeon clearing speed and my secret finding speed for this run is actually quite slow here since I've been trying over and over again for the past 2 hours at this point, so yeah. So yeah, the clearing speed is not really effective and I believe that if you are in the right frame of mind, it's possible to do this within 7 to 8 minutes. But right now, because I was pretty tired when doing this, it took me around 9 minutes or so. And once you clear the dungeon, enter blood, and for those who know how to fly in the boss room, use this ability to fly and collect one crystal at a time. Since you can't hold two crystals together at the same time, you have to take one crystal, place it on the pad, go to the other crystal and place it on the other pad before flying Necron into the laser. In the boss fight, I swap the Storm Helmet because it does more damage for left click mages and also gives me more EHP against Necron and the Wither Miners, which is useful since everything is targeting you, so more EHP is really nice. I also use my Wheel Pad here for EHP reasons. Get both crystals and now Leon Necro into the laser and now move on to Phase 2. Phase 2 is by far the hardest for solo players for Floor 7, period, because it requires luck and practice. You will have to continue clearing the pads at the side all by yourself and stand on them to lift the pillars up. And when the pillars move, hear carefully, there is a frame of time where after the pillars move, where if Necron walks into the pillars, it will count as a crush. You can still crush Necron even though the pillar has stopped moving. And this is a tip that even 5-man dungeon teams even use. And basically, after recording the clips, I was also told that it is useful to use a rogue sword spam for this as the faster speed will make it a bit easier for you and Necron to walk into the pillars and to crush Necron a bit more consistently. Eventually, I did it once and I did it again because as a mage, I don't have as much DPS as an archer to one phase Necron with the pillar, but after two phases and two pillars, it proved to be enough and I moved on to phase 3. Phase 3 is essentially soloing terminals as usual, but with the SBE mod, it highlights the things I have to click which speeds things up significantly. Necron got close to me several times in phase 3 and each player will find phase 3's difficulty different as phase 3 is very ping based. For example, if you have a ping of 300 ms, it means that each click takes 0.3 seconds to register, which in comparison to someone with 100 ping, it would approximately be 3 times faster to, since each click registers 3 times faster. But if you have a bad ping, phase 3 will be significantly harder but not impossible, and vice versa for those who have good ping, you will find phase 3 a lot easier. Lastly, in phase 4, it's really simple, just fight Necron one on one and eventually he will go to the middle where you just spam left and right click with the Hyperion until it dies. This video took me many tries and many failures to get it done correctly and clearing a floor 7 dungeon alone and afterwards just dying to Necron or just running out of time is by far the worst experience and is very tiring. And yeah, also I got another successful solo run but it wasn't S plus so I had to redo it and also these runs were done without Paul so it was just a pain in the ass because basically if I ran out of the time limit, if I went above 20 minutes if I'm not wrong, you will start losing points for the speed, which could be detrimental for you to lose S+. Plus. In this case, I got 301, which wasn't that bad because I took 22 minutes. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like because it really helps me out. And this is Furball the Hammy, your friendly neighborhood hamster, signing up. Be sure to do your daily dungeon marathons. And I am very tired. I'm going to go to sleep now.